reflect in Christ. November 9th, Jochebed's influence on Moses. Hebrews 11, verse 24 and 25. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Younger than Joseph or Daniel was Moses when removed from the sheltering care of his childhood home, yet already the same agencies that shaped their lives had molded his. Only 12 years did he spend with his Hebrew kindred, but during these years was laid the foundation of his greatness. It was laid by the hand of one little known to fame. Jochebed was a woman and a slave. Her lot in life was humble, her burden heavy. But through no other woman save Mary of Nazareth has the world received greater blessing. Knowing that her child must soon pass beyond her care to the guardianship of those who knew not God, she the more earnestly endeavored to link his soul with heaven. She sought to implant in his heart love and loyalty to God, and faithfully was the work accomplished. Those principles of truth that were the burden of his mother's teaching and the lesson of her life, no after influence can could induce Moses to renounce. From the humble home in Goshen, the son of Jochebed passed to the palace of the pharaohs, to the Egyptian princess, by her to be welcomed as a loved and cherished son. In the schools of Egypt, Moses received the highest civil and military training of great personal attractions, noble in form and stature, of cultivated mind and princely bearing, and renowned as military leader, he became the nation's pride. The king of Egypt was also a member of the priesthood, and Moses, though refusing to participate in the heathen worship, was initiated into all the mysteries of the Egyptian religion. Egypt at this time being still the most powerful and most highly civilized of nations, Moses, as its prospective sovereign, was heir to the highest honors this world could bestow. But his was a nobler choice. For the honor of God and the deliverance of his downtrodden people, Moses sacrificed the honors of Egypt. Then, in a special sense, God undertook his training. He had yet to learn the lesson of dependence upon divine power. In the wilds of Midian, Moses spent 40 years as a keeper of sheep. In the care of the sheep and the tender lambs, he must obtain the experience that would make him a faithful, long-suffering shepherd to Israel. Amidst the solemn majesty of the mountain solitudes, Moses was alone with God. Here, his self-sufficiency was swept away. The greatness of Egypt is in the dust, but the work of Moses can never perish. The great principle of righteousness, which he lived to establish, are eternal. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.